Psalms 68, 12. Kings and armies flee in haste. The women at home divide the plunder. This verse declares loudly what happens when God fights a war. God's methods of war are different. We can see only one person in the history who won a battle through his death. That is our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. When he died on the cross, it was a great victory. Religions and kingdom thought they could remove and destroy Jesus forever. But they did not know they were becoming tools of the victory of God in the battle. Jesus, who was thought to be finished with burying in the tomb, rose on the third day and lives even today. He pushed away death with his own death and defeated Satan, the author of death. Those who won the battle plunders the spoils. When Adam was defeated in sin, the authority given to man by God was surrendered. But the last Adam, Jesus, won over the enemy and released those who were in fear of death. Though we live on this earth with the spiritual authority today, the apostles and the prophets have conveyed to us about the eternity where we reign with Christ as kings. Today we suffer persecution for Christ. And as he has promised, we will reign with Christ. Those who shed the spoils on the earth experienced and enjoyed it temporary. We will enjoy forever the heavenly blessings prepared by God. At the same time, now, how great is the peace and other blessings we receive through Christ. Since Holy Spirit dwells in us, great deposit also is given. We are blessed with all the heavenly blessings in Christ Jesus. May God bless you.